If you're like me, checking the standings every day, looking at the upcoming games of the Lakers and the teams likely to take those last playoff spots, you probably also thought it might be good to write an algorithm to help you anticipate what the odds really look like once you take into account the various teams' schedules and the 300 or so games left to play. I'm going to do this in R Studio, which uses the R programming language. First, I need to get hold of the data, and an internet search turned up this Reddit site. This is just a CSV spreadsheet, including the results up until the last week or so. Once we've loaded this into the R space, we can get the team names and have a look at the games left to play involving the Lakers. This little bit of code just wrangles that result column so that I can get at the scores of each team, since in the score minus score format those cells were imported as words. Now, for the 927 games already played, we can then go line by line through the data, work out which teams are in the home and away column, and then update the standings table based on whether they won or not. If the home column is higher, add a win to the home team and a loss to the away team. Or if it's the other way around, we do the opposite. We can then add the percentages for each team. This just gives us the same results we can view on the NBA app. It's what we do next that will help us make some predictions. First, let's assume that for the remaining games, the winner will be the team with the higher record. Letting this run and then looking specifically at the Western Conference, we can see this puts the Lakers at 37 wins. Plenty of games behind the Kings and the Clippers. But let's say the Lakers are better than that, and they actually play more like a team that has a 55% wins record. This would mean they'll win games against teams like the Kings and Clippers, but this isn't enough. It still leaves them in 10th place. How about 58? Well, that helps them climb a spot further, but they'd actually have to be at a 60% record before we would predict them to make the playoffs, along with the Spurs and ahead of the Clippers and Kings. This means they have to play like a top four team, while the rest of those in the area need to play at a level that still reflects their record. How about another approach? Let's assume that the rest of the season will be completely random. Each team has an equal chance of winning no matter who they play. In this case, we can write a simulation and repeat it a few times or a few hundred times, each time seeing where the Lakers end up. Well, if we do this 10 times, we can see that the Lakers end up in 6th or 7th spot about 3 times out of the 10, and those 8.5 numbers there just represent when they were tied for 8th position. And if we run it 100 times and look at the number of times they finished at least tied for 8th or clear 8th, we get to this 20% or so mark. So based on this method, we could predict they have a 1 in 5 chance of making the playoffs. So, will they make the playoffs? If they play like their record indicates, they'll end up with 37 wins, which won't be good enough. If they play like a top four Western Conference team, they're in. And if the rest of the season progresses as if talent means nothing, we predict a one in five chance. That's good enough to keep watching, right? <laughs>